You know, when people say, you know, you know, uh, Pastor Garrett, listen, you know, I, uh, I want to really do something that's profound in my life. You know, inflation's been kicking my tail. Recessions uh, are kicking my tail. My boss is telling me I may not have a job. I got these you know, mortgage payments. I still got to pay car payments, private school, da, 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 all, whatever school, you know, rising cost of food I got to deal with. Mm-hmm. But you tell me I got to coach my, you coach me to go in business for myself or make some adjustments to my life so I can improve my financial circumstances, improve the quality of my family's life. But hmm, I need to pray about it though. I got an opportunity in front of me to change my life, but let me go pray about it. What do you say to that person? You need to go pray about an opportunity to change your life. If God's presenting you an opportunity, right? Like you should be prayed up before the opportunity gets there is what I would tell you. Um, but you prayed up already. <laughs> but the, yeah, you should be prayed yeah. up before the opportunity arrives. And, and I'm not going to throw out like wisdom and discernment. And it's, it's important to weigh alignments and the things that you do. But I would also say this, that God puts, uh, I love uh, the scripture, Ecclesiastes 3.11, God placed eternity in the human heart. But also if you have a relationship with God, he's given you a new heart. And if something is in your heart, Right. The word also says that where the desire, uh, where your treasure is there, your heart will be also like what is in your heart is what you treasure. If your life is about you, you're going to treasure the things that will enrich you. But if your life is about serving God, if that's what you want to do with your life, then also the things that God is putting within your heart are things that you can do to do that. Right. You know, I mean, we, we know only God knows our heart and we know our heart. Other than that, the word says that, you know, a man by his fruit. But if there's a desire within your heart, you don't need to have other people examine that or test that for you. It's between you and God to know, I want to do this for the right reasons, right? And if God has placed something in your heart, right, the same way that God uh, placed a dream in Joseph's heart, right? If you look at the story of of Joseph, it doesn't even say that God gave him a dream. It just says that Joseph had a dream, right? But what did Joseph do? right? His, he had a dream that people would bow to him. People would say, oh, that's so wrong. That's so arrogant. Why would people bow to you? <laughs> that, that's really how people yeah. can look at a dream sometimes, yeah. right? Like, oh, you want to be successful? Why would anyone bow to you? Okay. Right? Yeah. And, but it doesn't even say that God placed that dream in Joseph's heart. It just said Joseph had a dream. Nothing goes his way. For 13 years, he's incredibly excellent, though. And he ends up, if you know the story, ends up yeah. number two strongest guy in the entire world. Right? The number two to the Pharaoh. Yeah. And this is when the Egyptian empire is the strongest nation in the world. And what, is, what does God do with Joseph? God uses Joseph to make a way for his people. Right, so God, God needs successful people. Joseph was an incredibly successful person that God used because of his excellence, because of the way that he served, because of his excellence. He found himself in a place where he provided for all of God's people. Yeah. Right, so just to answer your question on like, oh, what should I do about this opportunity? Talk to your mentors, maybe talk to your leaders, have some wisdom and discernment, but at the same time, don't be thinking like, oh, should I should I try to do more? Um, should, you know, is it, is it okay for me to be successful? It's certainly okay. And I'll say the other thing that kind of like holds people back from being successful or should I go after this opportunity is fear. And I have a big problem with fear. Uh, fear is the one thing the enemy yes. wants to use to hold you back, yes. right? Like God can work with your sin. God can work with the mistakes that you make. But when you're afraid, it'll make you disobedient. When you're afraid, it'll keep you from taking the opportunities that you have. There's a great story in the Bible, the parable of the talents. I love it where uh, Jesus says the, the kingdom of heaven is like this. And he tells a story where a master goes away on a long journey. And when he, when he leaves to go on his journey, to, he goes to three of his servants, and he's going to give each of them a portion of money. Mm-hmm. Uh, to one servant, he gives him one year's wages. To another servant, so think of a year's wages. To another servant, he gives him three years' wages. To another, he gives five years' wages. A lot of money for these guys. And he says, okay, I'm going to leave, and I'll come back. And the master comes back, and he calls all those servants forth. Oh, by the way, people don't like this part. This doesn't seem very Christian. Yeah. Uh, it says that the master gave um, money to the servants in accordance with their ability. Boom. In accordance with their ability. ability. Right? Yeah. Not, not, you know, everyone gets the That's same. That's the question. Not everyone gets the same. No, in accordance with their ability. Right? Because right, right from jump, it's not equal. No, it's not. But yet, everybody, everybody said he's clamoring about equality. But in this example, it wasn't equal because they didn't have the right or the same no, ability. No, they, they had different abilities. Yeah. So it says to, to one he gave one, to one three, to one five, in accordance with their ability. Then the master comes back and he calls them in to make an account, right? And that's all of us. We're all yeah. going to have to make an account with our life, Matt. Like what yeah. God has given you, what are you going to do with it? Which also is really important to me in the way that I live my life. One of my life scriptures is Luke twelve forty eight. To whom much is given, much is required. Mm. I feel like I've been given so much. And at some point in my life, I'm going to get called back before the master. And he's going to say, look how much I gave you. What did you do with it? 
Yeah. What did you do for me? But to, to bring this back to why people won't, won't take that opportunity or won't succeed, he calls the servants back in. And the, what the one talent or the one year's wages servant says is so telling around why people fail. He comes back in, and here's what he says to the master. Master says, tell me, tell me how you've done. Here's what the servant says to the master. Master, I was afraid. I buried what you gave me in the ground. Here, take what's yours. And master says, you couldn't even give me interest on the money I gave <laughs> right. you. Get out of here, you li- wicked and lazy servant. Yeah. Right? But he told you why he failed. Yeah. He was afraid. Yeah, yeah you've got you've to gotta take some risk in life, right? Because the, the other guys who made uh, money, who multiplied, mm, sure. right? They had to go out and put it into something that yeah. could have gone wrong, yeah. right? The one talent master, I mean, the one talent servant said, well, I didn't want to lose it. I was afraid, so I just, I protected it, right? And that's not our goal with our life. That's, yeah. God hasn't given you anything so that you can protect it and preserve it. God has given you whatever he's given you so that you can use it and yeah. multiply it, yeah. right? Yeah. And if you're being afraid, you're not going to use and multiply yeah. what God's given you. One of the most annoying words also I come across dealing with men of faith, dealing with other Christians is the word contentment. Yeah. Just be content with what God gave you. Don't be so ambitious. Don't push forward. Don't push the envelope. Just be content. Hey, you just got your promotion. Be content. Hey, you got your business. Be content. You got founder, CEO here, th- three different ventures, four different ventures. You don't seem like you're very content. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, um, I'm using what God gave me. I think the, the contentment thought process is really like, hey, just be happy. Hey, just you know, be satisfied with what mm-hmm. you got. Yeah. Don't take any risks. Right. And what I it's that's the wrong mindset. The mindset or the mission is not to be safe. The mission is not to be happy. Right. The mission is to be this is is from the Bible, by the way. I didn't make this up. Right. The mission is to be fruitful and multiply. The mission is to advance the kingdom. The mission is to go out and make disciples. Right. So if I'm going to be fruitful and multiply, I'm going to be prioritized or I'm going to know what's most important is is God, my relationship with with God, advancing the kingdom, making disciples, my family and those relationships. Yeah. And then every ounce of time, every resource I have left left after that, I'm going to be as successful as I possibly can, right? Because that amplifies my ability to multiply on the earth, right? So my, my mission is to do as much as I can with what I've been given, not to make sure that I don't make any mistakes, not to make sure that, you know, I don't ever have an issue or don't go bankrupt or protect the, the one year's wages like, <laughs> yeah. like the servant, right? right? The mission is to do as much as you can and do it in the right way. And what a great journey and opportunity that we're given in life yeah. to, to go out and test these things and also be an example of following God and doing all of it instead of like, oh, well, I'll just, you know, be as small as I can. That's just a wrong way of thinking. And it comes from fear, by the way. Yeah. And it, uh, just, they, it just gets justified in different ways. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.